Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you um, a little hip opener. This is great for uh, if you get SI joint pain. Uh, I'm just going to say generic hip tightness. Uh, this is a um, this is kind of one of one of my go-to's, and, and I try to do this like once a day. I do a lot of deadlifts, a lot of swings, and um, I get a lot of let's say lower back tension, and a lot of it stems from tightness in the glutes. It's a tough area to attack as far as a, a foam roller because the way the muscles interact with the hip, um, it's just different. It's not it's not a linear path, and I'll show you that in a second. But let me show you what this looks like, then I'll kind of break it down. Okay, so I'm going to pause it there, and it's about this simple. And I'll, I'll show you where the ball goes. I um, mean, you can use a tennis ball, really, as far as the firmness of the ball that you choose to use. Um, there's no right or wrong. You want the one that, that works for you. So if, I'm using a lacrosse ball because they're nice and dense. If that is just overall too dense and it's causing you so much tension that you're actually not able to relax, then you might want to go to a tennis ball. Some people even use, like, um, a racquetball. There's no wrong or right, it's whatever works for you. So I'm going to take the ball and I'll show you in better detail where I'm going to put it, but essentially it's going to be sort of on the, the top of my butt and to the outside. From here I'm going to set my feet up in the butterfly position so the bottoms of my feet, the bottoms of my feet are touching each other. Um, from here I'm going to set the ball and now from here I have a few options. I can already feel it here, but let's say that the pressure, let's say I want a little bit more pressure. What I'm going to do is I want to take my other leg, my non, this is the leg without the ball. So the ball's, the ball's on the hip that's closest to the camera. And I'm going to use that to just shift my weight over to where I feel it the most. And then I can kind of go forward and backwards, and I'm just going to play with that and kind of figure out where I feel the most dig. Once I get it there... It's about this simple. I'm going to do little pelvic rotations. I'm going to do little twists side to side. I'm going to kind of move my hips. So if you don't know there's a ball underneath me, it kind of looks like I'm just kind of rubbing my butt <laughs> on the carpet. What I'm looking for are areas of tension, and you'll know when you're on one. Um, I'll spend up to about, you know, two to five minutes per hip uh, just rolling around, kind of moving on the floor. I'll, I'll kind of make little circles with the ball, on, you know, excuse me, little circles with the ball on the floor. And I'm just looking for those tighter areas. Um, and once I find one, I'm just going to hang out on it. And I'm just going to just let my body try to sink into the floor. Again, my, my weight is shifted over to the side with the ball. You can kind of play with it. You can see I'm kind of moving up and down a little bit. And I'm just looking for that one area. And it's really about this simple. So let's say I find a really, really tight spot. One thing that I'm going to do, you can see I put my hand on my stomach. And I'm going to go for a few belly breaths. Um, look at my face. My eyes are closed. I feel this. This is pretty intense for me, but I'm not going to show it in my face. If my face, you know, looks like I'm doing a power, you know, a power clean or a deadlift, you know, like, ah! um, your body's going to respond the same way. So I'm going to lie to myself and just say that I'm nice and comfortable. And I'm just going to work on just slow belly breath. So watch watch my hand. I'm going to breathe in through my belly. I'm going to inflate my stomach like a balloon. Big sniff in. And then I'm going to slowly, slowly, slowly breathe it out. And that's when you'll start to get things opening up and moving. So I'll, you know, I'll find a trigger point, a tight spot. And I'll just hold it there and go for, you know, two to five belly breaths depending on how much tension there is and then I can move on and maybe look for another area. If you've never done this, the entire area just might be one tight mess and that's normal if you've never done it. Um, a few belly breaths, a few belly breaths and I'm just letting the whole area calm down. I want to show you a different angle. So this is always a 
the most flattering angle to show <laughs> to show the world. Um, good old uh, cross shot. So I'm going to put the ball in my hip. My feet are in this butterfly position. And then from here, I'm going to set my other foot and then just lean as much or as little as I need to. And again, you will know. It does not take a lot for this one. Again, I'd recommend two to five um, minutes per hip because sometimes the uh, the bigger outer like the outer muscles can be so tense that you won't even be able to get the ball to sink in until those have sort of calmed down and relaxed a little bit. But um, you know, especially if you're dealing with SI joint pain, um, just general back stiffness, this one works wonders. You'll even feel your groin muscles um, loosen up just by working the glutes this way. So I'm going to move forward a little bit, and I want to kind of show you the, a little bit more of a breakdown. Okay, so this is the back of somebody's body. We're playing in this area, specifically right here. So this is, these are just the bones, okay? That's the general areas. That's sort of upper crest of the, uh, we'll just say of the, 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 the <laughs> pelvis. That's the word I'm looking for. Sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night, so everything's a little bit tougher today. Um, we'll be working there, and also, you know, a little bit, a little bit right through here. One thing I do want to say is, while we can see the bones, I'm not trying to shove the ball right here. Um, you'll know it. My my sciatic nerve kind of runs, kind of right through here, and um, you don't really want the ball digging into that. And you'll know you'll start getting a tingly feeling. We don't want that. So if I move forward, I'm going to add a few layers of muscle. So right here, and there, there's more that I'll add, but one of the muscles that we're trying to hit, that's the, the one that I have highlighted right there. That is the piriformis right there. That sucker, when that's kind of inflamed or aggravated, you, you can get sciatic nerve impingement. Just, just You'll feel kind of a weird tingly feeling in your hip all the way down to your, your feet. But I'm going to kind of work there um, on, on that muscle. I'm going to move forward a little. Actually, let's go back for a second. I kind of talked about the SI joint. SI just means sacral ilial. So right here, oops, tailbone, that's your sacrum. This is your ilium. So right where they meet, that's the right side. And there's obviously, <laughs> hopefully you have two sides. If you don't, then uh, go to the hospital. But um, that would be the right side of my SI joint. And so it's where your spine and your hips join. So the SI joint, or joints, I should say, are right where your spine and your hips meet. And again, when these muscles are all kind of clustered up and jammed up, they can kind of kind of pull on the pelvis in a way that puts a lot of strain on that joint. So that's the piriformis. We talked about that. I'm going to add in another layer of muscle. So right here, that now is called the gluteus medius, and that is a big one. So if you ever go to the uh, physical therapist, you know, Nine times out of ten for any kind of back or leg, anything. I mean, everyone goes, yeah, we did a lot of hip work. Or they'll say, you need to strengthen your glutes or, you know, they use your abductor muscles. This is usually the biggest muscle that they're going to try to target because it's fairly inactive on most people, at least way more than it should be. So that muscle is right there. Um, and, again, we're, we're missing a layer of muscle, so I'll show you what that looks like if, if you could see all the layers in place, but um, I'm going to move forward right here. Okay, so what I did is I added all the layers of the, of the body. I faded the body so you can kind of still see where that where that muscle is, and you can see that it's a lot of it sits underneath the meaty part of your glute. In fact, if I go back, the, uh, the piriformis, which is, you know, it's uh, that little guy right there, the one that we looked at in the last clip. If I go forward, it's covered up now, right? I mean, you can't even see it. So in order to get to that, you really have to kind of work through the, the top tissues. That's why having your, your legs in that butterfly uh, position will help. They kind of allow you to dig in there a little bit deeper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unfade the rest of the body so you can kind of see the only area that really we that's exposed is kind of right there. That's the main area that we're playing with. 
um, and you'll feel it. You'll you'll know when you're there. It's a really really uh, <laughs> tender area, but I, I I will try to spend, you know, some portion of my day just lying on a ball. You know, you can watch TV while you're doing it as long as you stay relaxed, but spend some time on that, and uh, it works wonders. Okay, let me know if you have questions. Give this one a try.